Hi everyone, and um, today I thought I'll share with you some of the modifications we made in the last uh, two months uh, for the intention of really focusing this year on improving our reporting capabilities. Um, one of the features that we've got is um, we just introduced a date range filter on our issues table. The date range filter really helps us with being able to uh, create reports over a date range period. So you will notice that um, the first detection date and the last detection date has been modified to now include a date range. So let's say you'd like to uh, uh, create a quarterly report. You can go from the 1st of January until the last day of March. You can also select the time you're interested in. So let's select at the end and if we apply the filter we can see that the date range is applied um, not only this um, we've had a much requested feature in the past and that is the ability to download issues according to filters that are applied I'll just show you on this uh, let's say we select Fire 360 we apply the filter uh, bearing in mind we still got the date range applied and if we press download we can download it and we will get a customized download based on the, the filters that we applied so this is something new um, and then also to add to that what we have included is we've included the ability to also print this to a pdf so if you print on the screen you can either select your logo uh, if you choose to do so otherwise you can just print and it will generate a print out and that print out is based on the metrics that you selected um, so that's all for today for it, folks um, coming up will be um, some more reporting features so look out for them we are mentioning them in our newsletter as we're going along and the next uh, major reporting release will be uh, sometime in april Good to talk to you and chat soon. Bye.